Hey everyone, Derek Floyd here, Beautiful Now Podcast. Standing next to this guy who's guarding this pretty important historical bridge here in St. Augustine, Florida, properly enough called the Bridge of Lions. And today we're going to continue our Take Back Your Life series through the month of January with a confession from me. That's right, I'm going to share something with you, but don't judge me, don't make me feel bad, but here it goes. I'm not a good investor. Yep, yep, I know, I said it, I said it, but I'm not a good investor, but I could use some better financial insight. But it's not the kind of investment that you're thinking about. It's more about something that you can't have with money. It's more about making time to invest in yourself. That's a pretty tough challenge right there, but let's take a look on the other side together and we'll talk about it. Hello again, everyone, and welcome back from St. Augustine, Florida. Now, most of us spend our most valuable currency time on everything else that revolves our daily life, like home, work, church, friends, and so on. But when's the last time you actually spent some time on yourself? Now, I know you're already saying, hey, Derek, I'm way too busy for all that. I got, I got church meetings. I got projects to finish at work. I got friends to take care of. I got the kids to drive around like a taxi cab. I don't have any time for me time and that cow gone take me away stuff. Don't have time. But let me challenge you here. This is probably the most important time that you need to take of all, and that's to make time to invest in yourself. Take time to spend with actual self-care. Now here's a few examples. Are you taking that 30 to 45 minutes a day to exercise, take care of yourself, go to the gym, put together a health program so that your body feels better? You know that it's so most important for you to take care of your body to make sure you have the energy to take care of the things you do on your to-do list. To do those projects you gotta do at work, to take care of the things at church. You need the energy to take care of all those things. So if you're not scheduling some self-care for your body, for your health, to go to the gym, you're doing yourself a disservice and your family as well. Here's another example. Maybe you haven't had any passions like you did in high school for a while. What did you do in high school? Was it photography, painting, drawing? What did you do that made you feel alive back in high school? Why don't you make some time to do those things in your schedule? Put some things in there that you love to do. Do what you love to do more so that you actually enjoy your life more. If you're always running on the hamster wheel, so to speak, and you never get a chance to breathe, to do what you love, it'll feel like your life becomes stagnant. No movement, no momentum. You won't feel alive anymore. So do more of what you love to get that passion back, to get that feeling of being alive again. This will charge you up for self-care as well. Here's one more thing. What about that skill or career you always thought you'd like to do? Maybe you want to go back to school and take a look at that. Maybe you take an online course, even do some videos online possibly. But whatever that thing was, maybe it could be a second career, even a second income. That knowledge could bring more to your family and take some of the stress off your mind so you're not running that hamster wheel so much. Taking care of yourself once again, making it better for everyone. At the end of the day, it's all about making time for self-care. Someone else told me that if you don't be good to yourself, you can't be good to anyone else because you'll be exhausted, agitated, frustrated, stagnant even. You won't be the friendly, loving person that you always could be. So make some time to take care of yourself this time. I know for me, I'm gonna take all three of those things of advice. I'm gonna get my butt in the gym, I'm gonna make some time to be some of my passions, and I'm gonna maybe get another skill, make some second income, you never know. But all these things will help me take back control of my life for 2020. What about you? I hope that helps someone today. Put your thoughts in the comments below, and as always, look forward to seeing you again at the Beautiful Now podcast. And hey, if you're out there and you've got some more ideas about how to take back control of your life, put a couple of them in the comments below so that all of us can share. Maybe you'll inspire someone else to get off the couch and take control of their life. Hope that helps one today. Put your thoughts in the comments below. Talk to you soon. Have a great one. Bye. Take care.